Hey there YouTubers, this is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, today we've got a fun project I call Ninja Names. What does that mean? Well, this is something I saw on Pinterest the other day, and I apologize, I don't know who to give credit um, uh, for this, but what they said is, um, you, if you associate each of these letters of our alphabet with one of these uh, letter combinations, for example, uh, my name D A N would be like D is T E, and then A would be K A. So we have T E K A, and then N To. So Te Ka To would be my ninja name, Dan. So what we're trying to figure out is a way to dynamically do this with Visual Basic. That way where you type in a name and then in another cell you type equals and we're going to call this function ninja name equals ninja name uh, C3 and whatever I typed in there it would pop in Tecato in that instance. So we're going to learn how to cycle through and make our own custom function. That's just something to do for fun. But there are practical applications for this if you know, if you ever have this kind of thing come up. So what we're going to say is for every single, every single letter uh, uh, in the length of what we're doing. So let's let's dive in before before we get get too further with it. Uh, but we will do a V lookup of that letter. Each time we go through a letter, we'll do a VLOOKUP, like for the letter D, it would VLOOKUP, and would find that, and in the second column it would say TE, and, and then it would go to the next letter A, and D-A-N, it would say it would VLOOKUP the letter A, and etc. So let's dive in, Alt F11. So we're going to start with our module here, and we're going to call this function, function, and what are we going to call it? Ninja name. Hit enter. Okay. So anything that uh, is typed in equals ninja name. And then you select the cell. It will take that and go through it. Let's show you how it's going to work. Oh, it's the first thing we need to do. We need to do a for loop. So for, let's say, x equals uh, 1 to whatever the length of um, mercy okay one second let's let's put a variable in here let's just say selection as string okay so we're going to use uh, a string meaning not a number Okay, for x equals 1 to the length of whatever our selection is. And then at the, we need to put a next x. Alright, it sounds more complicated than it is, I promise. That just means it's going gonna, it's gonna to do a loop. It's going to go through whatever our selection is from the first letter to the last letter. The last letter being the entire length of the number of letters. So let's check that out. Let's first of all we need to get uh, the letter. So we'll just give a variable. We'll just name it LTR. Letter equals. Um, we're going to use a mid function here. Uh, we want to get the middle. Uh, let's see. We're going to use selection, comma, starting number. How about x? And the length is going to be 1. Okay, so what does that mean? It means the letter that we're currently on is going to be the x, if you will, number. So first it'll be, x will be 1, so it'll be the first letter of this uh, one letter long. And then the next time it goes through, we'll analyze the next letter, because it'll be, x will be 2, the second letter. Third letter, oops. Oops, what did I do here? So then we'll go through and let's let's do something with that letter. Um, uh, let's 
do a temporary one. TMP equals TMP and oh, we need to do a, a VLOOKUP. So application dot worksheet function dot VLOOKUP. What are we looking up? We're looking up the letter that we just that we're currently on. And we're looking it up in well, I got to let's see what is we got to figure out what this table is called here. And, oh, it's called in table. Okay, in table. Let me copy that. So we're looking up letter and we're going to use the table called in table comma second column comma zero or you could put false so let's just see what happens and then uh, at the end of course I'm going to say ninja name equals whatever this temporary thing we've been adding to is so let's run that um, we'll do an example right here Dan equals ninja name of the cell and let's see what happens oh my goodness so first it said looked up the D and it said Tay and then looked up the A let's loop that uh, let's put a stopper right here or even right here okay let's go ahead and run this and hit enter that'll run it again for x equals 1 to the length of the selection which is should be th from 1 to 3 because the selection is a three uh, three letter word so I hit f8 now x is 1 so we want to go to the first letter of selection so letter should be D it sure is so the temporary variable is going to be equal to whatever the last time it was which it hasn't run yet Pl and we're v looking up the d in our in table in our ninja table what is it going to come up with ah it came up with tay so sure enough if you v look up d in our table in the second column it comes up with k or tay so the next letter is a and so we're adding whatever t whatever the temporary is te plus whatever that VLOOKUP is, TEKA and TEKA TO. Now, let's have some more fun. We're going to add either, we'll get a random number. Let's see. We need a... Okay, so what we need to do is uh, add spaces randomly so we'll say random space equals application dot worksheet function dot rand between this is awesome how about between 1 and 10 so rs is going to be a random number between 1 and 10 and let's just use a couple random numbers if rs equal if this time around if rs equals 4 let's say then tmp equals tmp and a space let's say otherwise if rs equals what let's say 7 it's random then the temporary ninja name equals TMP and how about a hyphen and let's say end if okay so let's run it again select that hit enter okay we know what's going on here the letter is D and Tay now what's our random number it's 1 so 1 is not equal to 4 or seven, so it skip that time. No spaces, no hyphens. Let's see what the next one is. A nine. No spaces, no hyphens. And it's a two. Nothing. So it looks like our ninja name would be Tekatu. Let's run it again. RS is a six. 
to 1 and a 5. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and run it a few times. Eventually it's going to throw some random hyphens or uh, but you know what, let's do a longer name. How about Daniel? Okay, wow, we got a lot of them in that time. So, it's randomly throwing in hyphens or spaces depending, so there's a space right there. So, tekato hyphen key space kuta. It's the same every time, it just has random hyphens and spaces. Tekatogi kutu ta. Alright, so let's do that on a wide range equals ninja name of that and we'll just drop it down double click alright let's check out Michael Rin Kimira Kakuta Kenneth Meku to Tokijura Toki Tokuchiri <laughs> sorry David is Tekaru Kite or Suzuki would be Aridozi Kiku Shoke so that's uh, that's some of our ninja names here, and they have random, randomly uh, using hyphens or spaces. So uh, this is Daniel Strong signing off. You guys have a wonderful evening.